name is Jared Jacobs and I stole my first microphone from a strip club in Tucson, Arizona when I was six. I was 15 or 16, I had a, I had read a couple of magazines about recording guys doing albums and I'd heard this thing about a multi-track system. Before the internet, you know, you look in catalogs, you see these things. I'm 15, I don't have a job. I couldn't afford these things, so I took an actual cassette machine that my dad had in the closet and I recorded one track into the left and then unplugged it and recorded one track into the right side. Took that and I went to Goodwill and bought another stereo cassette recorder and what I would do is bounce both of those tracks into the opposite, the left side of the other machine and record into the right and bounce those back to the other side. Really archaic, kind of like if you were editing video from one VCR machine to the next. And that was my first four track. I mean, it was the coolest thing then. And then when I actually listen back to it, you know, if you hear these old tapes, you can't even hear the audio, it's just noise. It's just, we were hearing what we were trying to do. But it was cool, it was innovative, I guess. We were, we were in a bedroom in a trailer, you know, like we thought we were the shit. I guess my process, like how I work, I'm a little bit different than most engineers and producers. I'm not a cookie cutter. You don't squeeze the band or the artist into uh, what makes me feel comfortable as far as like an engineer. A lot of engineers have one system, one technique. That's all they do. Each band gets a unique sound too. I look at each project as something new and challenging. I've recorded guys on a front porch because the guy wanted, I want to sound like I'm on the front porch. Well, there's one way to do that. Just put the guy on the front porch. Sometimes it takes compromise, I guess technically, but you know, I'm not gonna make bands perform separately if a band really gets off on the vibe of playing together. I'm gonna put everybody in the room and have you play together. I'll make the rest happen, no worries. What sets me apart from most producers and engineers is making the client feel comfortable in their atmosphere. A lot of places you're gonna go to, studios are gonna feel like a doctor's office. And I try to eliminate all that. You know, you have friends over, light candles, do whatever. Some people actually bring their own artwork. Uh, you want an instrument provided, we provide that. A lot of places are going to make you use software samplers, software synthesizers, guitar emulators. Like, if you want the amp, I bring the amp in. I set the environment that you picture. When you look at a picture of Bob Dylan playing on Columbia Street Studios in New York, or something like that, you, you always have this thing, or when you see the Beatles, you know, in Abbey Road recording, that's, I want to set up your photo. You know, it's like, that's the moment in time that we're capturing. All necessities are there. Food, friends, photographers, video, all the instruments that you want, the real things. Not these software packages, the real thing. A real piece of wood, a real speaker, a real synth, a real knob, something you can see, you can see the light flashing. In your mother face.